What up everyone, it's your boy xman 87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends video and what I have for you today is the Marvel Legends X-Men Wave Bone Breaker Build-A-Figure Series Wolverine Action Figure Review. Before I get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, let's go. So this look is based off the return of Wolverine where he unlocks a new power and having fire claws that were activated whenever he got angry. Good thing he doesn't have it anymore because it was a bit hokey knowing that his regular claws can cut through anything, but that's modern day Marvel Comics for you. So same Wolverine body as before, just a new costume, and they gave him glow sticks for claws. <laughs> and I do like the blue that they used on this figure. It's not too dark, not too bright. It's in the middle, and it's just nice. So I'm going to bring out two Wolverines here, one from the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure Wave and the Love Triangle right here. And as you can see, uh, the yellow here is a lot brighter, but kind of muted when you look at these two right here. This one is more on the orangey side. This one was a brighter yellow, and I do like this yellow. This one, yeah, it's kind of, um, it might look brighter, but in person it just looks a little more muted. But it's still nice though, I don't have a problem with it. I think I prefer this one, but I know this more orangey one brings out uh, more of his muscle definition for sure. It's just this yellow doesn't match the other yellows of the X-Men team, and I like the yellows looking consistent. So that's why I go with this one. You won't get away with a head swap between these two, but since these two are the same head sculpt, uh, you know, you can go with this one since it's a brighter yellow, and it'll definitely pass. And as you can see, boom. But the fun part with this figure comes with swapping pieces from the other Wolverine figures. So if you don't want the black shoulder pads for whatever reason, and you want blue shoulder pads, best one to go with is this Love Triangle Wolverine because that blue matches more. The Wolverine from the Apocalypse Builder figure was too bright, although I do prefer the blue on this Wolverine more so than I do on this one but yeah as you can see this one goes and man, that looks really good too you guys know that the astonishing x-men wolverine is my most wanted wolverine figure so uh adding this blue kind of gets me closer to that so this is probably the closest i'm gonna get to an astonishing x-men wolverine for now and of course if you didn't want the heated claws you can swap out with that wolverine as well the glove matches i just have the can of beams metal claws on it because it looks badass but if you just want no claws at all the best solution is taking the multiple man hands and swapping it with that because I did found that that blue matches perfectly. So what's new with this Wolverine? Absolutely nothing except for the heated claws and a brand new belt. You know, it's the same Wolverine that we got before. I will say the paint apps on the blue is so clean. Look at the slashes right here. Everything came out real crisp. And as you can see the top right there, the slashes. Again, that came out so freaking nice. So good job there. Again, I really like that blue. New belt right there. You got the uh, nice gold paint there. The red. The texturing is nice on the belt. Again, I really like this blue, man. And here are the heated claws. Let me pop a light so that it pops. And yeah, they were definitely thinking about the photographers on this one. So it's kind of nice, you know. It could have been a little bit brighter maybe. But I like how the gradient here with the red and the light yellow, it's nice. I like it. You know, something different. Same hands as the X-Force Wolverine. As you can see, it's using those thicker claws. It's a mixed reaction with these. Some love it, some hate it. I'm on the side that loves it. But yeah, I had to make use of these claws for my photography. And as you can see, the rest of the paint, you know, I gotta say, it's spot on. And the traditional classic wolverine boots and there you have it now for accessories he comes with the screaming logan head that we've seen before in one of their previous cowboy logan figures i believe and uh the only difference is that they use that canvas printing tech that they're now using on the comic book figures it's a little more defined let me pull out the older head right here as you can see same face sculpt but more defined i mean the paint apps is much better one uh, two, the eyes look a bit sharper, you know, they don't look, uh, as a little, you know, kind of, I don't know, these were a little wonky, 
and uh, the eyebrows are a bit thinner as you can see but I think the best thing to note about it is that the wrinkles are more defined as you can see don't know why they bothered packing this head in with this one I would have preferred alternate hands or maybe an alternate expression for the mask as we all know they can't nail the Logan faces at all but hopefully with this new canvas face print tech that they're implementing on the comic book figures we can get a legit Logan head sculpt so what's next for Wolverine obviously you guys know that I've let you know that this Wolverine body buck is perfect i mean why fix what's not broken however just because it's perfect doesn't mean they can't do any improvement or advancements so pinless arms and legs i'm sure will come with the next wolverine however one of the next things i would like to see in, in advancing this body buck would be giving him a double diaphragm joint one with the upper torso rocker and the inverted ab crunch that way you know we can get uh, Wolverine and so many dynamic poses. Toe joints wouldn't be a make or break for me. We've seen the toe joints in the past, so it's not a make or break for me on a Wolverine figure. Still would be nice to have it though. Another advancement that they could use is with the shoulder pads. So unlike these pins that are here that you can plug in, you know, it leaves that hole there. So the best thing they could do is give them the War Machine treatment that we've seen on figures like him and Baron Zemo where the shoulder pad is in the actual socket of the shoulder. Just don't know how that would work with butterfly joints, but I'm sure there's a way to figure that out. And maybe a ball-jointed neck so he could have some good tilting action. Probably drop-down hips, okay? If they do that, that would, one, justify the freaking $24.99 prices that they're uh, hiking. And two, I mean, that brings us close to the Mafex in terms of articulation. So, you know, that would be huge. But we'll see where they go. All I know is that for $24.99, Hasbro should not be giving us the same mold like this over and over again. So I'm not going to go over articulation since you already know how this works. You've seen this body a thousand times. But I just wanted to point out some advancements I would like to see in Wolverine figures. Let me know if you agree with them. Also, let me know what kind of advancements you'd like to see in a Wolverine figure. Because, again, for $24.99 or above, because they are charging some figures more than $24.99, you know... Yeah, <laughs> definitely we need to see some uh, new implements on the Wolverine figures and a lot of figures in general, you know. I know reuse is part of the business. That's just how it is. It's territorial. But, you know, just give us a little bit more. And I'm saying all that while I'm covering articulation. As I said, I wouldn't go over it. <laughs> Don't have much for comparisons, but here is Wolverine next to the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure Wolverine and the First Appearance Wolverine. Lastly, here is Wolverine next to his fellow Wavemate, the First Appearance Sabretooth. Sabretooth review on deck. And now to wrap things up, my final rating is a 7 out of 10. Just your typical Wolverine figure in a different costume, but I do like that they experimented something new with the claws. It does lack in the accessories department since it comes with a Logan head that wasn't necessary for this figure. If anything, alternate claws or depowered claws would have been more useful as not everyone may want to display their Wolverine with just these claws alone on a shelf. The good thing is, is that you don't need to purchase this figure to complete the Bone Breaker bath. On the contrary, it's a downside for me. I'll tell you why. This could have been a great opportunity to give more accessories to Bone Breaker as that's a character who has an arsenal of weaponry. Some SMGs, Gatling gun, or a mounted sentry like in the comics would have leveled up the bath. This figure had all the space for it in the card. I know there's a budget, but hopefully the Legends team can put this into consideration. I feel like figures that don't include a bath piece in the wave should have that option where it comes with an additional accessory like an alt head, hands, etc. for the designated bath, where it's still not pushing the consumer to buy, but leaves that option out there if the consumer ever wants to add on to the bath. Before I close it out, it just dawned on me as I was talking about some advancements I'd like to see on a Wolverine figure earlier in the video. I speculate that this may be the last Wolverine figure we see in this body mold. 
With San Diego Comic-Con right around the corner, there may be an introductory to a new advanced comic Wolverine that's all pinless and maybe a new double diaphragm joint. Not saying that this mold won't be offered again as I'm sure it will when budget comes into play, but we'll see soon enough. I think I may want to put this Wolverine in my Avengers display. I don't have a Wolverine there. I used to when I had the Jubilee Bath Wave one, but I sold that since I wanted to keep all my Wolverines looking consistent when Hasbro introduced this body buck in the Juggernaut wave. Therefore, I got rid of the older ones prior to that Juggy wave. I can see some or most collectors passing on this one. However, this Wolverine will be a great choice for new collectors who are not big on the animated series cell shaded version and need a blue and yellow Wolverine for their comic X-Men display, just to not dish out the ridiculous prices that the Tiger Stripe 90s version goes for on the aftermarket today. Now I kick it back to you. What do you think about this Wolverine figure? What Wolverine figure would you like to see next? If you say Astonishing or T-Max, then I love you 3000. Comment below, let me know, we'll chat about it. That was my review. Please follow me on Instagram at xmanny87. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my latest videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review. Peace, peace.